guys. So, getting ready. I need to run some errands today. Uh, and I need to go get an oil change. So that's what I need to go do right now. Uh, see, like, I'm running out of time right now. I'm in a hurry. Um, this is what I love about uh, Herbalife and shakes. Um, don't have any time to make any food. Got my headphones in here. Uh, I'll probably be waiting there for like 45 minutes, so that's why I'm taking my backpack with my computer and stuff so I can get some work done. Uh, but uh, I am rocking, of course, my plus here. I've got Spotify radio going on, and these songs I like this song. The cool kids. I want to be just like a cool kid, right? But yeah, so uh, using the iPhone 6 Plus, and I don't know, I mean. I'm still, I still have mixed feelings about it. It's because, I don't know, it's, it feels weird having a big screen on iOS. Uh, maybe something, it's just something I'm not used to because I'm so used to like, for example, when I use a Galaxy Note, uh, I used, I mean, the Note has had a big screen for the longest, for a couple years now, and uh, now having iOS on a 5.5 inch display, I think it just feels weird. Cause, like, I'm so used to being on such a small screen, like a 3.5 or a 4 inch, display so I, I think that's that's what it is it just feels awkward not awkward it just feels different and um and that's kind of how it felt with the note when back in the day when that first came out i was like man this thing is massive like a big screen on a phone uh and now that uh iphone or apple has it on their phones it feels a little weird with ios but i don't know if you guys follow me on twitter i actually tweet out something that said maybe um, just kind of using it for a while because it's only I've only had it for what three days now and I mean I'm starting to get used to it in the beginning I was like whoa this is weird it was cool like it's awesome that it has a big screen um, but then it's like whenever it comes to daily tasks um, as far as like taking it out putting it your pocket like if it's great in the pocket just like the note does um, it's not too big um, but if you do wear those uh, kind of a tighter pants, uh, like skinny jeans or something, I don't think it'll fit in your pockets. But <laughs> like it'll feel very tight and stuff. So I don't know, but I will keep using it. And one bad thing that I uh, that I've been doing is, of course, I'm not gonna lie. I sometimes text while I drive. Uh, but like whenever I text, I keep my eyes on the road. I'm constantly on the road, but I'm like just typing. And I guess I've become so such a good at typer on a smartphone that everything comes out as it's supposed to come out um, texting wise like all the words and everything I spell them right because um, I know where all the keys are at and everything and then uh, I hope whenever I hit send it it's the right message and majority of the time it is I have a couple little uh, corrections sometimes but I don't know but with this it's like I don't know where the keys are at so uh, it's it's bad don't text and drive. I'm so bad at it too. Uh, and I'm trying to get away from that. And it's something that I'm just trying to avoid now, of course. Um, and, and I don't know, like the screen's, the screen's awesome, especially if you use it for GPS, all that. And I don't know, it just, it just, I think it's something that I just need to get used to because it's so different when it comes to an iOS device. Having iOS on a big screen, it's great and all. Uh, it just feels weird. I'm so used to Android being on a big screen, so I think that's what it is. Uh, so I'm still gonna give it like another week and see how I like it. Uh, but tomorrow I'm gonna switch to the iPhone 6 and give that a go, and then use it as my daily driver for the next couple days, since I've been using the iPhone 6 Plus um, as my daily driver for the past two, three days. Um, and then uh, in the end, we'll we'll see what 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 it is. So um, I don't know. I don't know, what do you guys think about the iPhone 6 Plus, or did you pick up an iPhone 6? I mean, personally, or like honestly, I think the iPhone 6 is a perfect size, 4.7 inch. Um, 4.7 to at least more, no more than 5. Uh, for like an everyday average, like an average person, like an average consumer. Uh, so, so, shout out to you, uh, average consumer, you know who you are. Another YouTuber, he's another tech YouTuber, he's, he's a friend. Uh, so yeah, um, but anyways. I'm gonna get this ready. I just uh, shook this up and uh, about to go get my old change, all that good stuff. And also uh, get to looking at my car because my car has been the past two weeks or something. Like, I don't know, it just, it's on and off. Uh, I get cold air, hot air, whenever I have cold AC on. I don't know. It's weird. So I'm gonna go get that fixed uh, or checked on and see what it is. So hopefully I can get that fixed today. I'm getting tired of that. 
every time I use the AC, it's it's like it's hot air, cold air. So I don't know. I'm gonna go get that. Check. So I'm out here, about to mess with my car. I just want to go get an oil change, of course. I actually take out my cold air intake. It is pretty dirty. I haven't washed it in a while. And this is gonna be my cold air intake from engine that I put in there, like I would say, like three, four years ago. Uh, but I don't know, I think it may be causing me issues uh, because some other stuff. So I'm gonna take it off and put my old one back, the one that came with it. So it looks kind of brand new actually. So maybe that will help something. I don't know. But uh, it is hot out here and uh, let's get to work. I'm doing some manly stuff today. <laughs> All right guys, so I just finished up. You see here, got this new thing, thing, thing. Actually there's an old one uh, and then this is gonna be the, well that's, that's the one that came stock. And then the one that I had over here is actually a cold air intake from engine. This is what it looks like now. I haven't changed this filter it's so bad. That's probably why I've been having issues. So, good thing I changed all this. And uh, this is getting thrown away. There goes $300. That sucks. So now that I got uh, my intake taken care of, go back to stock. Um, I don't know, so far it feels like it's the AC is feeling correct. It's feeling cold. So we'll see. But right now I'm actually uh, heading to the auto parts store. Uh, I'm going to go get a new air filter or a, a cabin air filter um, for inside for I mean here. Yeah. So that's where I'm at right now. Pulling up and hoping to get all this fixed. I feel like Mr. Fix It today. All right, so I just picked up one of these uh, air, cabin air filters. Change it up right now. This is gonna be a little how to change up your cabin air filter on a Mitsubishi Lancer. Take this off, see all the junk. Then this little thing here is gonna come off. Just like that. Take out this. There we go dirtiness that needs cleaning or that just needs to get thrown away not cleaning all right so the airflow is going down so make sure it is going down there we go and that's that that's it that's how you do it not okay i think let's see snaps on we good we good let's see how this works and uh, I'm about to make me a sandwich. I don't want to really make something heavy or really don't even want to make any food. So I'm just going to make me something simple, make me a sandwich. But what I just did right now is here's a little tip. Uh, instead of using mayo, use avocado. That's what I did. I just uh, cut up a avocado, used half of it, spread it across. And uh, that can be your replacement for mayo because mayo is like pure fat. And so is avocados, they're, but they're actually good fats. So. You get that good fat. Uh, avocado is very good. It's very healthy in fats. And yeah, and so what I'm about to do right now is just simply put in some lettuce here. Uh, and I'm going to put in some turkey as well. And we is going to grub on this simple sandwich today. I just took my first bite um, and I realized I forgot something. How many of you guys put jalapenos? I just got some jalapenos. I'm about to, put, I'm about to cut this up. Put jalapenos. How do you guys eat y'all sandwich? What, what do you put all in your sandwich? What's normally where you put? You put mayo, mustard, uh, do you eat it with turkey, ham, bologna is disgusting. Uh, but, but yeah, let me know how do you guys eat your sandwiches? I normally eat them with avocado. And also this bread that I use, it's actually um, bread that I get from a like, whole food store, or organic store. And uh, it's this brand here. It's a uh, Silver Hills Sprouted Bakery. The Max Flax uh, has high fiber and omega-3 flax seeds, uh, sorts of omega-3. So it has flax seeds and all that. Sometimes I get some that has um, chia seeds. Uh, I change it up, but this time I got the flax seeds one. I'm Mexican, so don't judge, guys. I gotta have my spicy stuff. I love spicy food. I don't know, bite me. It's recording. They can't see me. My back has been hurting today. I don't know what I did. Guys, we decided to get Starbucks. You see? And we're here at the at t store. What do you think? What do you think about the phones? That's what we keep talking about. I think the whole thing. The whole time. 
for the next few weeks it's gonna be the same yeah for the next few weeks it's gonna be the same combo what do you think about this one let's checking out the photos <laughs> He has contacts. Ew. It looks like it. Those are eyelashes? Anyways. <laughs> so we're just checking them out, even though I already have them. But I'm here at the ATT store checking about an upgrade. Because I might be able to upgrade and then get a discounted price. Or maybe I'll save for next year. I don't know. I was gonna check. Creeping. Go through the text messages on this. What did it say? Someone's coming out? <coughs> Test this text. Who is this? <laughs> Bye. Bananas takes that. What? This is so stupid. What's up, guys? So, late night uh, workout coming in. Uh, because. Yeah, late night workout. <laughs> just because. Alright, so I just got done finishing my workout. And I think I'm gonna call it the night or call it a night. Uh, but yeah, good workout. Worked out back and biceps today. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be working out legs. Uh, but yeah, so um, that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. Um, sorry about yesterday or today, whenever. I uploaded today um, the vlog from yesterday, right? Yeah. I actually shot it from the front of my camera of the iPhone 6, the FaceTime HD camera, the improved FaceTime HD cameras. It's not bad, but, but yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, better get ready and go to sleep. So, good night, guys. Thanks for watching. And I said that five times, right? I think no, but uh, appreciate the support. Hit the like button if you did enjoy the vlog. Not only shows support to the channel, like it actually lets me know that you are liking these vlogs. Um, and uh, go ahead and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're almost at 1300 subscribers, so let's try to see if we can hit 1300 in the next week or two. I think we, we need like about 20 more subscribers, so yeah. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.